Hello there, and welcome to another one of our Lexical Lab One Minute English videos. If you enjoy this video, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our website www.lexicallab.com to find out more about the other courses we offer. As you may know, I'm a big football fan. I'm a lifelong supporter of Arsenal Football Club here in North London. And last weekend was maybe the biggest game of the season for Arsenal supporters. It was the North London Derby, where Arsenal were at home to our North London rivals. A derby is a match between two local teams who often really don't like each other. And yeah, Arsenal were at home to our North London rivals, Tottenham, Tottenham Hotspurs, whose stadium is about three miles up the road from here. And in the area I live in, support is fairly evenly split. I know some guys in my street who support Arsenal, and I know some other poor souls who have the misfortune of supporting Tottenham. Before the game last weekend, uh, I was chatting to one of my neighbours, and he's a Spurs supporter. And he was asking me how I was feeling. And I said, oh, I feel good. Today's the day. I think we're going to batter you. And he rolled his eyes and looked at me and said, ever the optimist, eh? If you say ever the optimist, you basically mean that you admire the fact that someone is optimistic. You admire their hope even though, really, you don't believe that it's worth hoping for something. You think that the optimism is misplaced, that there are no grounds for this optimism. Basically, it's any time that you think things can change and you're expressing your optimistic point of view. If the other person is less optimistic than you, they might say, ever the optimist. Uh, so you might say, for example, you know, I know the political situation's bad at the moment, but things can only get better. <sighs> Ever the optimist, eh? They can also get worse. People sometimes also use it to talk about themselves. So, you know, after the COVID situation of these last two years, uh, optimistic people might say, hey, I'm ever the optimist, so I'm really hoping that the next year will be better than this year. Going back to the football, of course, Arsenal won 3-1. So, he who laughs last, laughs longest. <laughs> if you have enjoyed this video, make sure you click the like button, the thumbs up sign. It helps other people see it. Please do share the video with your friends, your colleagues, your students, any football supporters that you know out there. And in the comments section below, we'd love to see examples of when you think you might use the phrase ever the optimist.